Here. Okay, we're going to get started with this story, which has a lot of people talking. One restaurant owner's decision to publicly shame a mom and her kids for making a mess in her restaurant is sparking a lively debate online. The woman came up and she basically told us that there was going to be a worker that was going to come over. She was going to vacuum up the mess and that they had just spent $50 steam cleaning the carpets and she didn't appreciate us making such a mess and that next time if we decide to come in and not to bring our kids. We love kids and it's not a matter of not liking kids. Again, it's about executing my right to refuse service to anybody. It's not targeting. I didn't know they were military wives. Talia goes on to say, yes, she is a military wife. Uh, the owner, Lorraine McDuff, says it's not a matter of not tolerating children at her restaurant, but about her right to refuse service to anybody. And one of the children was screaming during the visit. And there are pictures that she posted online of the table with the huge mess underneath it, posted it on Facebook. That's where she made that's the mistake. Wrong. That's yeah. where like, she that's made the so mistake. Childish. That's where she's getting a lot of criticism. However, in, in her defense, she's saying, look, we have these people come in. They're disrespectful. You think if a parent comes into a restaurant, if their kids are out of control, that they would take the but time to control them and get them to be. What's interesting is she didn't mention a tantrum when she posted that picture. She didn't mention a tantrum in that first TV interview. It wasn't until the backlash started that all of a sudden she's like, oh, and one of the kids was screaming. I don't know. It's like there's two sides to every story. But if somebody told me we just spent all this money cleaning up the restaurant, I mean, that's I'm like, your I'm sorry. Job. You're supposed uh, to yeah. clean the carpet. Cool. And I mean, if you don't want kids screaming in your place, then have a rule that says no children over the, right. under this and age. And there are you know a lot I mean? of restaurants that are doing that right, now. Like, because they can't control people's children anymore, yeah. especially if they can't. You surely can't. Yeah, so, I mean, they're eating scones. Scones are crumbly. There's going to be crumbs. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure plenty of adults. I mean, what happens if I go there with a friend and I spill my coffee or laugh too loud? They just seen the carpet and you got to go. Maybe, yeah. I suppose so. I have. Well, I think a lot of restaurants are getting to this point where either they offer some sort of thing where, you know, there's one restaurant that does something where they say no, no kids under seven after mm -hmm. seven, mm -hmm. which I think is smart because if it's you're fine. going to experience a certain thing, I think a coffee house is different than a steakhouse yes. when it comes to that sort of experience. And I'll tell you, there's nobody who's more mortified by a kid acting up than, than the, the parents. parents. Yeah. We don't it's want our kids to be bad. <laughs> yes. Jack is one year old. When he eats, the stuff goes everywhere. I do my best to pick up the big things, but I'm sorry. I'm not going to bring a dust buster with me to the restaurant exactly. to clean up because I'm Michelle, worried. you're more of a conscientious parent. There are parents out there who completely check out. They're so used to their kids making messes you know, that when they're out in public, they don't people. realize yeah. it. Yeah. And that, that that is what I think restaurant owners and fellow uh, diners get appalled by yeah. in general. I guess just at the end of the day, I feel like part of your job is to clean up. Yeah, don't complain about cleaning the carpet. <laughs> Give me a break. I know. <laughs>